Good morning. Today is day 13 of Austin and I's coronation. We started a pinch earlier than everyone else. I think everyone's around day 10 or something. And I thought today I might do a what I eat in a day video because why not? I'm at home, eating food. Why not share? So I'm just going through my morning routine right now at this point. Getting the blinds opened for the plants, about to feed the cat, but ooh, caught on a phone charger. I do start my day out with a big thing of water, so I wanted to share that. And I'm going to drink this, refill it, hit the treadmill, um, probably catch up on Family Karma, which is one of my new favorite shows on Bravo. I'm enjoying that one. I think it's three or four episodes in. Wow, this room is yellow. I hate the lighting in our kitchen. It's just like, blah. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and feed the baby, get my work out of it, and then I will come back when it's coffee time. So I walked on the treadmill. Well, walked quickly. I don't jog, I don't run, that's not my thing. Uh, for half an hour, because I wanted to get logged into work by nine because I have, um, well it's a long story, but basically I have to get a mailbox set up today for our partners to handle questions about COVID-19. So that is what I'm doing today and I'm going to get coffee and get my day started. So let me just put my camera down on the little stand. myself set up over here since Austin and I have both been working from home I've been setting myself up on the dining room table because our offices upstairs are right next to each other and he tends to like to listen to music um, so I, I don't like that distraction music for some reason I can't do I can have a show or something playing in the background but if it's a song I know and I want to sing along to it I can't concentrate so yeah, I'm gonna get logged into work, probably get some of this coffee down, and then maybe think about like brunch. I really don't do a lot of food during the week. I usually have lunch and dinner, or like brunch and dinner. Uh, especially since we have been working from home, I've not had a huge appetite at all. I think because I'm just not super active, I'm not walking around, walking around the floor, walking to different floors, walking to people's desks. Uh, we're just walking in the parking garage at work. So since we're not really doing a lot, I, I think my appetite's kind of adjusted to that, which is nice because girl can eat. So today's going to be kind of a eat what's in the fridge kind of day. Breakfast, brunch, lunch, whatever will be left or a quiche, and I'll show that to you guys and I'll let you know how I made it. And then we have a bunch of random components in the Pyrex containers in the fridge. So I think I might assemble that for dinner into some kind of salad or something. So we'll see. I'm gonna get to work for now. About 10.40 ish. And I have showered, did a face mask, and now I'm back at working. And I'm about to have some, I guess this would be like brunch. It's not really lunch, it's not really breakfast. So let me show you what I'm having. Having the last slice of some vegan quiche that we made and I just put some Frank's Red Hot on top. I never warm things up. I don't know why I can eat pretty much anything cold, especially leftovers. So there's that. This is a pecan crust. It was the only one I could find at our grocery store that was vegan. <laughs> and then I used just egg and broccoli, uh, sun-dried tomato, an onion and then there's some taya slices that are I think American cheese in there that I just cut up into little bits I don't love them but a co-worker had purchased them and she didn't like them so she's like hey do you want these to try so I'm like okay but we used them up and now those are gone and out of our fridge I seasoned it with 
salt, pepper, garlic powder, I think just a little bit of paprika, and then I used a little bit of black salt just to give it that sulfury taste at the end, and that is about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then go about my day. It's about 1.50 and I'm ready for a little snack, so I'm going to have one of these Unreal Dark Chocolate Al Almond Butter Cups. And then uh, we'll see from there if I want to have anything else. But I'm going to have one of these and uh, yeah. So I was craving something all spicy, but I'm not super hungry. So I had <laughs> a couple Calabria chilies, which for most people is probably too much. But I love hot stuff. So <clears throat> also, I think I'm going to eat a radish. <laughs> Just want a little something. I don't know. I'm not like full on hungry, but I, don't know, I just want something. It's like 3.30, so I need to set this camera down. Where am I going to put this? There we go. It's 3.30, so I'll probably be making dinner in like an hour or so. Yeah, so I'm just going to eat this radish. Just because. It's 3.30, I'll probably make dinner in an hour. I was going to do a salad with a bunch of the random stuff in the fridge, but Austin has requested that they make risotto again. I made instant pot butternut squash risotto. And we still have leftover butternut squash, so it's still using stuff in the fridge. So I'm going to make that for dinner. Um, yeah. So I'm going to finish up this watermelon radish and go back to working, and I'll talk to you all later. I have the Instant Pot going. I've got um, butternut squash risotto going in here. And I followed this recipe. I don't even know where this is from. My wife can cook.com, whatever that is. Um, so I used rosemary instead of sage, onion instead of shallot, and butternut squash puree instead of pumpkin because we had butternut squash and I baked it. And then everything else is in there right now going because Austin requested, special requested this. And since we had a whole container of butternut squash chopped and, and baked already in the fridge, I figured why not? So now I'm going to get some asparagus going. This over here is my stock bag. Every time I make dinner, and we have scraps from veggies. I put them in here and then when we need more stock, I make stock. Then we've got veggie stock. Why would you ever buy that? It's so easy. So I'm gonna chop these up, add a little salt and pepper, and then I have this seasoning. We bought it when we were trying to get Austin's grandma to stop um, eating so much salt. Come on, focus. Here we go. This is actually really delicious, even though I add salt to it anyway, but this is a really great blend. So we add that and it's really good on asparagus. It's really good on like every veggie. So I'm going to get them going and yeah, that'll be our dinner. I'll bring you back when I have it all together. So here is our risotto. It looks amazing. I added some, what is that brand called? Crap, always forget the name of this brand. Good Planet, Good Planet Parmesan into the risotto, mixing it in, smells amazing. Already got our bowls filled with our asparagus, so I'm gonna plate this up and I might add some hot chili oil on top of mine, we'll see. So here we are, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the oil from the Glory and Chili jar. Just a little and then I'll mix that in just to make it a little bit spicy. And that's my dinner. And this is an amazing recipe. If I can find that recipe for the pumpkin risotto, I will link that down below because it's so good. And I think I'm gonna pour myself a glass of orange juice too to have dinner. It is officially nighttime. Wow, my cheeks are pink. That happens when I drink wine. I was just leaning on this cheek like this too with my hand that I'm now holding the camera with. Anyway, I'm having a little bit of red wine and that is all I'm ending the day with and I'm watching Summer House on Bravo 
And I'm going to close out this video. If you enjoyed this what I eat in a day, then give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around for a while, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!